Look at this. Both of them are bombers. Why the US doesn't use propeller bombers like the Russian Tu-95? While both countries needed long-range bombers for the Cold War, they chose different paths. The US focused on making planes that were super fast and hard to detect, which led to jet engines. Russia, on the other hand, prioritized endurance and incredible range with its turboprop design. Right after World War II, the US went all in on jets, moving on from propeller planes like the B-29 to the legendary B-52. The goal was to penetrate deep into enemy territory fast, and jets could fly at higher speeds and altitudes to outsmart defenses. This focus on speed and height continued with the supersonic B-1 Lancer and culminated in the B-2 Spirit, which sacrificed speed for the ultimate sneaky trick, stealth. This trajectory shows how much the US has always focused on having the most advanced technology to stay one step ahead. The Soviet Union chose a different path with the Tu-95. In the 1950s, early jet engines were too fuel-hungry for the unrefueled range the Soviets wanted. So, they opted for the massive Kuznetsov NK-12 turboprop engines. These were incredibly fuel-efficient, letting the Tu-95 fly for thousands of miles without refueling. The plane wasn't built to outrun anyone. It was built for endurance and payload, a crucial focus for a nation with a large landmass and distant targets. The technical difference between turboprops and jets is key. A turboprop uses its turbine to spin a big propeller, which is highly efficient at lower speeds and altitudes. A jet, conversely, shoots out air at a crazy high speed, which is more efficient for high-speed, high-altitude flight. For a bomber, it's a trade-off between flying for a long time on less fuel or flying faster to avoid getting shot down. The Tu-95's propellers are loud because their tips move faster than the speed of sound, but this design makes the plane perfect for long endurance missions. In the end, the bombers show what's important to each country. The US, with its big budget, invested in high-tech versatile jet bombers. Russia, though, took a more practical and budget-friendly approach, 